Computer, what's the status of the new studio for the news? Construction is complete, but the studio has not yet been tested. Mm. Alright, schedule some... Oh, oh, you're here already. Forget the test then. Computer, bring the new studio online and roll the credits for the bulletin. Acknowledged. <laughs> This is the Christian Fantasy and Science Fiction Bulletin for July 2019, bringing you the latest news and releases of speculative fiction created by Christians. I'm Adam David Collings. Paul Regnier has released Paranormia. Chris Lowry is penniless and painfully geeky, so when the struggling illustrator makes a wish that grants him supernatural visions, the lines start to blur between his comics and reality. After he crosses paths with a protector who calls himself an angel, Chris must decide if being a hero is worth the danger. This urban fantasy features an underdog hero and Regnier's signature humour. Lindsay A. Franklin is releasing The Story Raider on the 23rd of July. This is book two in the Weaver trilogy. Deceiving an Empire is a treacherous game. This series follows the adventures of Tanwin, who doesn't just tell stories, she weaves them into crystallised structures that sell for more than a few bits. It seems this is the season for anthologies. We have three of them. Plus there's another launching at Realm Makers, but I'll talk more about that one next month. Superversive Press have released the latest of their planetary anthologies, Jupiter. Stories of leadership, fatherhood, defiance, and of perseverance, all inspired by the planet Jupiter or the myths that gave it its name. Bear Publications have just released Beatitudes and Woes, edited by Travis Perry and originally inspired by C.W. Breyer. Explore the Beatitudes and Woes of the Bible through the stories of 13 Christian authors in this uniquely powerful anthology. These science fiction and fantasy stories will bring you to the point of tears, make you laugh, surprise you, amaze you and inspire you. Editor-in-Chief Andrew Winch is releasing Rebirth, Havoc Season 1 on the 20th of July. This is a collection of flash fiction stories from 44 different authors, including never-before-seen works from best-selling and award-winning authors James Scott Bell, David Farland, Robert Lippoluro, Diane Mills, and Kerry Neitz. Steve Razza has released The Echo Watch, book one in the Dominic Hale series. Dominic Zine is overwhelmed. And then he meets Nick, who looks just like him and can imitate him perfectly. Nick's here to help out. Wouldn't we all like a second version of us that can help out when we're busy? I could sure use that today. But soon it becomes clear that his life is no longer his own. And Steve Razza has also released Strife's Cost, the sequel to Empire's Rift. This book is set in Kevin J. Anderson's Takamo universe, which is a sprawling space opera setting with alien races and lots of space battles. Does this man ever sleep? Supersonic Pod Comics have released their first two episodes, starting with Origins. These are comics for your ears, superhero stories told through audio drama as a weekly podcast. Four different series make up a shared superhero universe. You can listen to the episodes for free on your favourite podcast app. C.E. White has released Vincent in Wonderland. A dark enemy threatens Wonderland, but Alice won't face it alone. She'll be aided by an 11-year-old, Vincent van Gogh. This book is a prequel to The World's Next Door. Jesse L. Roberts has released Hand of Steel. All Chris wants is to capture enough bounties to keep her belly filled and move up in rank. But when she and her dad catch a pirate, the pirate's crewmates retaliate. The attack kills Chris's dad and burns away half of her face and limbs. Now she must choose between forgiveness and revenge, but either way, She'll either betray friends or family. Ben Wolf has released The Crimson Flame, book one in the Blood Mercenary series. This is a dark fantasy about Aaron and his band of mage, mercenary and assassin on the trail of a cult that kidnapped his sister. Along the way, they'll unravel the ancient secret of the Crimson Flame. CM Bandsbatch is releasing Oath of the Outcast on the 23rd of July. Years ago, Riss McDuffie was brutally cut off from his clan and banished to the remote dragon keep. But one day, he receives a message from the clan. His brother has been taken by their enemies. Riss sets off to rescue his brother, 
but a sect of druids seek to unleash a dark force that the world has long forgotten. Christina Libianco has released The Guardians, Warrior Angels. Elsie thought angels and demons were only characters in fantastical stories, until she found herself in the midst of a war spanning millennia. Drawn into a mission to find a stolen religious artifact, she discovers how evil the dark can become. J.L. Mbewe has released Cursebound, book three in the Hidden Dagger series. This series begins with Iana, whose family hold a deadly secret. With a curse, she will build an army. With a dagger, she will undo the last sacrifice. But first, the sorceress must find the secret keeper. And an audio version of the first book, Secrets Kept, is available on YouTube, which you can listen to for free. It's a great way to get into the series. Kyle Robert Schultz has released Deadwood, The Return of Crockett and Crane. Monster Hunter and part-time centaur Todd Crane didn't ask to be Sheriff of Deadwood. For one thing, he's never had an easy time staying on the right side of the law. For another, he's too busy trying to find a dangerous sorcerer who nearly destroyed the United States of Neverica. But he's the only one who can thwart the schemes of a powerful magical entity manipulating the town from the shadows. Next month, we'll be doing our annual Realm Makers special, so be sure to tune in for that one. It'll be very exciting. Until then, live long and prosper, and God bless. Thank you.